Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. Today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate covered tuxedo strawberries. These are a great treat to use for fancy parties, weddings, Valentine's Day, or any special event. They look pretty cute with their miniature bow ties and are quite simple to make. And they taste delicious. Now, before I show you what to do, here are the supplies that you'll need to grab. Strawberries, of course some distilled white vinegar for cleaning your strawberries, some paper towels and a sieve or strainer to assist you in cleaning your strawberries, toothpicks, some food safe gloves, some dark and white chocolate. You can use candy melts or compound chocolate if you don't want to temper, but if you are going to use Kupacher chocolate, you'll need to temper. Check out the video above to see an easy way to do that silicone or plastic cups or a bowl for melting your chocolate or candy melts, a couple deep bowls for dipping your berries, a couple parchment paper piping bags. Check out this video to see how to make them at home, a sheet tray and piece of parchment paper, and some decorations like sprinkles or pearl dust if you'd like to make some other strawberries to accompany your tuxedo guys. And in case you are missing any of these supplies, I have linked all of them down in the description box. So the first step is to clean your strawberries. I've put three cups of water into a bowl and I'm going to add a half cup of the distilled white vinegar. And then just put your strawberries in. And I'm going to let them soak for about five to 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and I'm going to lay down about three layers of paper towel and I'm just going to strain the strawberries and lay them out on the paper towel to dry completely before I can dip them. And you can speed up the process a little bit by giving them a little pat as well. Now after the strawberries have dried for a little while, I'm going to finish preparing them by putting toothpicks in each of them. This really helps um, dip them and protect the stems. And then before I lay them on the sheet tray, ready for dipping, I'm going to give them one last nice dry with a paper towel, just to make sure. So I'm just sticking the toothpick right into the top of the stem. Next, I'm going to melt my white chocolate candy melts. To do that, I'm going to put them in to this silicone cup. The reason I use silicone is because it doesn't retain heat like glass does and run the risk of burning the chocolate. I'm going to warm it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until it's smooth, stirring in between each 30 seconds. Now, once the candy melts are mostly smooth, you'll finish stirring to melt any last little bits in there. Then, I'm going to pour it in this nice deep glass bowl so you can see what I'm doing easy when I'm dipping. Now, I've got my gloves on. I'm going to smooth out the chocolate surface by just shaking it a little and then Take my first strawberry. I'm actually going to dip all the strawberries that I have on the sheet in white because I'll do half tuxedo and half just little white dresses. And the tuxedos need to be white underneath. So you'll dip it in the white first. And you wanna dip it straight in and then tip it back and forth and side to side to cover as much of the strawberry as possible. And then I just pull it out and shake it back and forth. Thank you. 
And then on the flattest side, I wipe it and put it on the sheet tray. And before I do the next one, I like to kind of try to smooth out the surface of the chocolate. Make sure to pull the leaf up and you can use the toothpick to help you hold everything up and hold the strawberry. I kind of shake it because it helps keep the candy melt smooth. Melt my dark chocolate. Well, I'm using actually a compound chocolate. And I'll melt these in the silicone cup the exact same way. 30 seconds at a time, stirring in between until it's almost smooth, and then finish stirring to finish melting the chocolate. Okay, so it's really important the surface of your chocolate is smooth for this part. And what you're going to essentially do is dip the strawberry twice at an angle from the tip to the corner and then the tip to the corner. And the mistake I sometimes make is that I, <laughs> I dip it too close to the center and then there's no room for the buttons and bow tie. So really, you don't have to dip as much as you might think you do. So I'm just going to take it and just dip it to the corner. And then you can wipe it and dip it. I'm doing this backwards so, so you can see. And it's kind of hard but you just dip it right there to the corner. And you can always dip more if you think you need it, but I kind of like it wide because then I have more room for the decoration, just like that. And then smooth out your chocolate by just shaking your bowl. I'll try to do this one a little more narrow to show you the difference. So this one's a little more narrow and I like that better, but you'll just have to practice to see what you prefer. It's all, it all depends on the angle that you go in at. most important thing is that your lines are really straight and clean because that makes the tuxedos look really nice. So what, however wide you choose to do it, just make sure your lines are clean. The toothpicks really help.
Okay, now I have my tuxedo guys. And I'm going to grab a parchment paper piping bag and fill it up with this dark chocolate to finish off the little bow ties and buttons. So the other tip I have for you for keeping your tuxedos looking really clean and sharp is when you cut your piping bag, start so small. Adding too much chocolate makes things look messy, like if the bow ties are big and clumpy and sloppy. So you wanna start super small. Okay, that's so small. The chocolate has already set up and barely comes out, but give it a little help and here it is. And this is, this is as small as I want it. It's like I barely cut off any because that gives you more precision. And then if you're nervous, you can practice on the parchment paper and you're basically just going to draw a little crisscross triangle bow tie like this. If you like to better, you can put a dot in the center and then draw two triangles on the outside if that makes it easier for you to keep the two sides even. I'll start with this one. I'll do a dot in the center and then I like to draw an X and then an X. Well, actually it's just one X. One line and one line makes one X. <laughs> and then you have nice super thin lines and then you can just fill them in nice and thin with the piping. And I just fill those in and then I put a nice dot in the center for the knot. And then the more buttons, I think it looks nicer. Once again, everything looks small and clean. So I'm going to do five. I'll start with the top one so that I can space it as far as I want from the bow tie. And then the bottom one where I think it looks good. Then I'll do one in the middle between those two and then two more in between those. And there's one, done. Alright, so to go with your tuxedo guys, you can do little brides or just girls in fancy dresses. And again, you want to cut very little off of the tip of your bag, like just the very end to keep things precise. If you cut off too little, you can always cut off a tiny bit more. And the simpler, the better. The more simple the design, the cleaner it will look. So I'll just show you a couple of different options. You can do a couple drizzle things. You can do the simple drizzle straight across and you want the lines to be really thin because it looks cleaner. And if you want to, you can add a border on top. I'm just going to add a little extra chocolate for something to stick to. And you can take some pearls and just carefully place them across the top to add a little something. 
extra. Those look nice like a necklace, but my chocolate is setting up. So you can add little dots of chocolate if you need to. <sighs> These are so tricky, little guys. Okay, I'm gonna add another string of chocolate here. If you're having trouble with the chocolate setting up, you can just pipe it straight onto the little pearl to finish out the pearls. And another tip, if your piping bag starts setting up, you can pop it in the microwave, but do it on a low power. I do it on power five for like 10 seconds, just because you want to get that, um, this little small end without heating up the paper. Okay, so there's that option with the little necklace. All right, another drizzle option you can do that kind of resembles like a, a scoop neckline is it's like you'll create a V in the center. So we'll start at the bottom point here and go to the top corner, kind of like in the same pattern as this, as the tuxedo. So you'll create your first line there and then do a drizzle to fill in the rest. And then this side. And that's quite an angle <laughs> if it's a neckline. You can do a less sharp angle. So I'll just add it on top. That just adds a little texture. And you can do the same thing with the pearls or you can, you can use the chocolate to pipe your own by just doing little dots. So I'll just do that for ease. And just to show you a different option if you don't have pearls. Really easy to do. You can do another drizzle, but just leave it, just do like a little bit across, um, just like a drizzle stripe. And then you'll add some pearl dust at the bottom to make it shiny. Um, you can also do some piping. If you feel confident in that, you can practice here. My chocolate's going wonky, so I think I need to warm it up. Yeah, before you do piping, it's nice to have your chocolate really fluid. So for this one, I'm just going to do like some draping kind of like this. So I'll start in the center with the first one. You can add some pearls at the top, which looks nice. Then for this one, you can do something really easy and simple, like just add pearls kind of randomly. It's for some um, simple decoration. So then to finish them off, if you want to, you can add some white pearl dust, which will just add some shimmer. It looks nice on even the um, drizzle because it adds a little bit of dimension and sparkle. Just makes it a little pearly. Just gently brush it on with the tip of the brush. 
can do the tops of these pearls to make them stand out. I have this really cool color. It's like pearlescent purple pink. I don't know what it's going to look like on here. So I could try it on here. I think it'll look cool. I'll try it on the bottom of this one. Oh yeah, it's really subtle. It like has a purpley pinkish tint to it when the light changes. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then today's the day. And if you'd like to see something else that sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.